Rising Channel Lights, today is my brother's 21st birthday party. Happy birthday, bro. Now, as my brother's birthday is tomorrow, I need to prepare some of his gifts, which include pork scratching, some very fancy chocolates, some fancy chocolates and truffles, and his favourite drink, dandelion and burdock. Now I need to wrap all of the gifts as well as write the birthday card for my brother. So without further ado, let's begin the wrapping process. <laughs> Wrapping all complete, and the time is 1.35 in the p.m. And for some reason, it is 26 degrees in here. And to be honest, there isn't really much snow left. The only snow I can see is in this corner over here. But I mean, other than that, it is a really, really nice day. I probably should go and get some shoes on, because today is a great day and I and I, I I need to get out of here. Today I think I'm gonna be wearing this pair right here. This device right here really is amazing. I love it. So if you're part of my family and you gave me Amazon vouchers, that is one of the things that I bought with the money. I think I'm going to write the card later today. There's absolutely no way I'm going to wait today. I have a feeling though that I have family coming around soon. People are going to be start arriving within the next half an hour, and I want to dedicate today's episode, because it is my brother's birthday tomorrow, to the topic of things getting old. And the main thing I want to focus on is the 18 to 55 millimeter lens, which I broke last year. Now, I used the 18 to 55 millimeter lens before I got the 10 to 18 millimeter lens, which I got for my 18th birthday. Now, the 10 to 18 millimeter lens is amazing, but the 18 to 55, well, it kind of feels a little bit plasticky. And the reason that the 18 to 55 is so plasticky is because it is a kit lens. Now, kit lenses are good because they give you a good range. However, what camera companies will not tell you, they are made to break. And that is what happened to my old 18 to 55 lens. It died, it broke, it got too old, it wasn't my fault. Uh, I've now got a new one. Now, I did attempt to try and fix it after it broke, but then I soon realized it was dead. But I did take a photo over on my media account, Hannah Phillips R. That was such a shameless plug. That's um, my Instagram account that I put all like my fancy photography photos on. Go follow it if you haven't, like it's really good. Now for the part two of talking about things getting old and needing to be replaced, I do need your help. I've had the G7X now, for like three years coming up in May. I've literally taken this place up mountains. <laughs> I have taken this camera to pride events across the south coast. I think that's your mic there, Flower. Does it work? Now the camera still kind of works, but it's not going to be very long until I need an upgrade. And also I kind of broke the carrier case. That was me. Um, I, I, did a, I fell over at Hampshire Pride. It is. There are two things that I'm possibly thinking of doing. One being that I wait until the G7X Mark III comes out, or two, getting a brand new vlogging rig with the M50, which came out last week. I would still have this camera, but kind of use it for a studio camera. It is, it is quite heavy for vlogging. This entire setup is only 1.5 kilos. So yeah, it is pretty heavy. 
The G7X is still a great camera, however it is just the shutter bit that is broken. I, I, I just don't know what to do. But what I do know is that I don't have much time before this G7X dies completely. I love this camera, it's so good. So the G7X is slightly a little bit hazy, whereas like the main camera is like really good quality. So I am kind of thinking the M50 route a little bit more because it would be easier to kind of match. But don't get me wrong, I probably would upgrade to the Mark III. Like I like this camera. I think that's my cue to greet the first visitor for my brother's birthday party. I'ma just leave that all there. We have arrived at Envy's. Now I don't know if you peeps can remember for my 16th birthday, I came here for my very own birthday party and we're back again for my brother's party. So I note the lighting is really bad in here. In total we have got 16 people and also for some reason the forks are in the middle of each place. Family meal all over. Later. <sighs> I ate too much. I always do this. I'm going in there, but I just need to take this bag off. It was a fun evening. Like, I really enjoyed it. Now, if this was like the vlogs that I did in 2017, I probably would end it about now. But this year, we're aiming for quality and length in the vlogs. But first, I have to socialise with some family that have come back from the meal and drink coffee. I, I love a little bit of coffee. If you're not aware, I am moving sooner than you peeps probably realise. And in 10 days time, this entire space needs to be completely and utterly empty. The only thing that's staying in this room is my mattress. The bed has to go too. Now I have brought over a box just so we can start the cleaning out process. And I think the best place to start is with a certain white dresser table stand of some sort. I'm I'm really uneducated on my furniture. From a glance I can see a trans flag, some nail varnish, some vinyl LPs and even some of my old dance wear. I think if I don't manage to clear even half of that that I won't be able to sleep very well tonight. So without further ado let's start cleaning this mess. I just realised that I probably should have brought a bin bag just in case I wanted to get rid of some of the junk. So while I was tidying through all of that stuff, I managed to come across two of my old phones. One Nokia and one Samsung. I'm pretty sure both of these phones are dead. But as well as these two phones that I somehow managed to find, I've managed to find some of the stuff that I do want to get rid of. I honestly thought I was going to have a little bit more room left in the box to do this 
side of the dresser drawer table thingamajig. The only thing left to do is to put my name and what room this box will be going into. Now I'm going to be wrapping up today's episode right here and right now because it is getting incredibly late in the PM. But thank you so much for watching and remember as always to like, comment and subscribe and I will see you peeps in the next episode. So from me, it is a goodbye. Goodbye.